Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have a very weird article and uh, it's uh, very revealing of how the important countries, quote-unquote important countries, view any other country. Uh, they view them as uh, students and uh, these few important countries uh, as the stewards or the, um, the teachers the lecturers. So this article comes from Ukraine Forum. It's from August 10th, 2022. And this is the title. G7 demands Russia return control of Zaporozhia nuclear power plant to Ukraine, to Ukrainian authorities. So G7 demands Russia return control of Zaporozhia nuclear power plant to Ukrainian authorities. These guys are uh, deluded. They live in a, an alt alternate reality. The foreign ministers of the group of seven, okay, G7 countries have called on Russia to immediately, no delay, immediately, return full control of Zaporozhia nuclear power plant to the Ukrainian authorities. According to Ukraine Forum, the ministers said this is a joint statement published on the website of the German Foreign Ministry. And I'm quoting. Let's see what uh, the statements, uh, statement reads. We demand that Russia immediately hand back full control of its rightful sovereign owner, Ukraine of the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant as well as of all nuclear facilities within Ukraine's internationally recognized borders to ensure their safe and secure operations. Ukrainian staff operating the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant must be able to carry out their duties without threats or pressure. It is Russia's continued control of the plant that endangers the region, end quote, the statement says, um, this is unreal. <laughs> Let's point uh, out a few terms here. So, in the, in the declaration, we demand. These guys, they demand immediately. And then to its rightful sovereign owner. Well, guess not. That's another one round. Took over. Like Iraq. <laughs> like Iraq. They just, uh, uh, they just um, took control for uh, safekeeping. And then it says here that uh, to ensure the safe and secure operations, like the Russians, they've never seen a nuclear power plant before. They look at it like a cow looking at a fun train or something. A cow looking at a train passing. That's how the Russians are looking at the nuclear uh, power plant that they were actively involved in it during the Soviet Union time. And then it says here that uh, the operating staff over there must carry, must be able to carry out their duties without threats or pressure. And now we know who are the ones who threaten everybody else. It's the Russians. Russia's continued control of the plant that endangers the region. Not the other guys shelling it. No, 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 no. The Russians being over there. Okay. The G7 foreign minister said that they remain profoundly concerned by the serious threat that the seizure of Ukraine nuclear facility facilities and other actions by Russian armed forces posed to the safety and security of these facilities because Russians are cavemen significantly raising the risk of a nuclear accident or incident more likely an incident being uh, by from your coming from your uh, uh, sponsorees <laughs> endangering the population of Ukraine neighboring states and the international community so they they uh, are very much narcissistic, thinking that everything is about them. And that little thing that they own right now, they took over, 
is going to destroy the whole planet. So if you don't do what they say, then you are guilty of genocide. IAEA staff must be able to access all nuclear facilities in Ukraine safe, safely and without impediment and engage directly and without interference with the Ukrainian personnel responsible for the operating of these facilities. Well, those guys will be fired if they don't want to work there anymore, and the Russians will bring their people. That's what's going to happen. And I know that Russia invited IAEA staff to come and uh, observe and inspect those facilities. Then, who are you G7 anyway? You didn't want to talk to Russia. Remember when you were making fun of Putin in Bavaria? You said, you kicked out Russia, remember? A while ago. Or it was G20. No, in G20 they are, in G7 they're not. They were observant, they were just observant in a nation or something, country. So what's going on here? You don't want to talk, but now you give orders. These guys are just... You need a lot of patience with these guys, a lot of patience. So, on April 5, Russian invasion, invaders fired at Zaporozhia nuclear power plant. On August... On August 5, Russian invaders fired at the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant. Why? They had control of that plant since the 4th of March 2022. They control it. Why did they fire on August 5? Do you think is anybody lying here? I'm giving you a hint. <laughs> oh my. So a high voltage line was hit and an emergency fuse in, engaged at one of the power units. These three strikes were recorded at the NPP site near one of the power units where the nuclear reactor is located. The Russian strike seriously damaged the nitrogen oxygen station and the joint auxiliary building. These guys are, what are they talking about? What are they talking about? On August 6th, the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, who will tell you the truth always and forever, reported that the Russian invaders, invaders had planned, planned, planted mines at the Zaporozhia nuclear power plant. It's not impossible. So they say, hit it, Ukraine. On August 8th, representatives of Russian invasion forces in an official statement said that they would be ready to blow up the already mined Zaporozhia nuclear power plant if needed, as reported by Energotom, Energatom, Ukraine state-owned nuclear operator. I do not believe this, at least I, but why am I uh, looking at this little uh, article? It's because of the chutzpah, the arrogance of an entity, a body of country, countries, seven, that have no power over Russia. Moreover, they uh, impose sanctions and they try to you know, snub Russia and all that. And now they, they talk like someone is going to listen to them. These guys are just, are just out of their mind. And remember, they make policies based on this. And this is not a joke. This is what they really believe. They really believe in their deluded head, little delusional, that they have the power to, I don't know, demand something immediately. They really believe that. They are, how should I put it, like a, like a, like a uh, very wealthy kid who lived only in uh, its palace and in his, uh, I don't know, rich environment, and you take him and you bring him to, I don't know, a store, let's say Walmart. The, 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 the kid will demand to, you know, everybody to open the door, serving, do this. That's how he really thinks the world, the world functions, based on their little world they live in. So they demand immediately, okay? And I think Russia pooped its pants and is changing its, its diaper right now. They're so scared of this G7 that I can't tell you. They call me and say, Emil, please make this video because we're scared as hell so everybody knows that these guys are demanding immediately. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Unbelievable. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just. <laughs>